Here's something interesting. Got a call from my grandfather and my dad, and they both said that my grandfather's air conditioner wasn't working properly. It's the Comfort Maker Soft Sound 1000 Plus that replaced them. Um, gosh, I don't know how old this thing is. I'd say it's at least five or six years old. And it replaced a failed Lenox condenser unit that had been here by anyone's estimate for about 50 years, which was a pretty good run until the valves in the compressor failed, and that was the end of that. So, look in there. You can definitely see there's a bit of a problem. That poor compressor's covered in ice. So too is this. Hmm. It's a good way to have something bad happen to a compressor right there. Not sure what's going on here, but let's go in the house and look at a few things. Alright, here's the inside of the furnace. This is an old Singer furnace. I don't know exactly how old it is, but back when I was a kid and I lived here, I was born and raised in this house for most of my youth, and then we moved to the house we live in now. And this thing is at least as old as I am. I would assume that motor is probably original to the furnace. But this stuff was all running, and um, everything seemed to be working okay except for the fact that the fan was not approaching full speed and there was definitely a rhythmic thumping noise and I don't know about you but that belt looks awfully loose to me like it might need to be tightened up plus since my grandfather runs the fan on this thing all the time might be time to oil that little motor I think it says to do that yearly take a look over here see what's going on there's definitely there's definitely ice on those. I hope that's not going to make a mess on the floor. Look in there. That white thing you see is a big ice cube. Oh gosh, I don't know how long it's going to take that thing to thaw. <laughs> oh man. Well, I'm at it. Let's see, I don't know if I have enough cord on my on my drop light here. Hang on a minute. All right, this icky looking thing is the condensate drain for the furnace. Doesn't look like it's been working. I wonder if it's plugged up. I don't think it could be that plugged up. I can't imagine that furnace being watertight enough to hold that much water in it without it going someplace. I know it couldn't be. So, I guess we're just going to have to let that ice cube in there thaw. And then I can take a look at this and see what's going on. Gosh, that might take a couple hours. <laughs> it's definitely one way to work around a broken ice maker, isn't it? Although not one that I'd recommend. That's the noise it's making. It just seems like it might be a little bit on the loose side to me. Well, there's definitely one problem. Went in here to look at adjusting the belt to tighten it up by moving the motor back after oiling the bearings in the little motor. And I went ahead and I shut off the power in the other room just so I wouldn't get a surprise. You know, somebody upstairs might not realize that I've got this thing open. They might turn it on. That's a good way to get some fingers hurt or something. So, you know, work on your own furnace. Make sure you shut the power off at the service panel. Or, actually unplug the motor from its power connection if you want to. But I'd say it's probably safest just to shut the whole darn thing off at the service panel. You see that split in the belt there? It's going to be new belt time for this furnace. I've got a new belt right now, so I've just kind of tightened it up as best I could in the hopes that that might get my grandfather through the night. Luckily, when the time comes, we know exactly what belt to get because some thoughtful person put this packaging up here. I guess that was my dad. It's his handwriting, so... <laughs> anyway, now I just got to let that thing thaw and I'll try starting it up again. There you go. Now you can really see the ice build up on that coil. Wow, is that really thick. Boy, this is filthy, is it? But the good news is, the condensate drain, if it was plugged, it's not now, and I don't think it was. I actually flushed a whole bunch of boiling water from the tea kettle down that hose after unscrewing it from the evaporator coil container. And the water came right out in here, so I'm hopeful that it's not plugged. Yep, there's a tea kettle. And the ice is at least starting to show some signs of thawing. You can also see where I kind of gently pawed at it with my fingers to see how hard it was. 
You just gotta do that with care because you don't want to deform or distort that coil in there. Yep, that's running quite a bit better now. Moving a lot more air. That must have been it shutting down. I had the circuit breaker shut off. Still need to get a new belt. But that ought to get him through the night at least. We think. Just keep an eye on the ice in there. Should be all melted soon. There it is, starting to look normal again. Wow. Check that out. That's probably the most water's come out of that thing in a long time. And there's some chunks of ice that just vacated the uh refrigerant piping. Now, it seems like everything's thawed out. Let's go ahead and try turning the air conditioning back on, see what happens. Well, that ought to be everything back to normal, so I guess I'll just put a new furnace fan belt on my shopping list, and I'll bring one and put it in here soon. It sure sounds a lot happier now than it did when I got here. Hopefully no lasting damage has been done to anything like the compressor. I wouldn't think so. At least I'll always hope not. 